In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a really good man beater out of Trip Side In that you can use. It's really going to be good, at least until we get a tight end apprentice, and actually might change some of the ways that you run Trips Tight End. This is the play Pat's Y Post. You can find this in the Patriots playbook. Pretty sure you can also find this in the Packers playbook as well. Um, and what we're going to really build around with this play is we have this really unique route to the tight end. Now, I'm going to call off the dogs for just a second. I just want you to watch how this tight end post engages with main coverage, and then we'll talk about the rest of the play. But what you're going to see here is he'll get this inside cut, and you can freeform it inside and potentially be able to beat man coverage up the middle of the field. Now, what this allows us to do is it really forces certain adjustments from your opponent. So when you pair certain routes with this, it will make it significantly better. Uh, let me give you a quick example. One of my favorite things to do with this is wheel the running back out of the backfield. When you wheel the running back out of the backfield, you're going to notice that it's going to clear out that safety in the middle of the field. All right. Now, when you can clear out the safety in the middle of the field, another big piece of this is we know that the Sen 5 meta is really popular right now in Madden. So when we do this play like this, we can quick throw this running back wheel against any Sin 5 pressure and have a nice little hot read built into the formation. Another thing that trip side in is really good about, and I think this is going to be something you're going to see continue to grow in popularity over the course of the next couple of weeks in competitive Madden, is utilizing trip side in. If you're a trip side in player, utilizing motion blocking of your receivers. Just by motioning this guy right here, we're still going to get that out leveraged animation over there on the right side. And we're also going to get this slot corner to basically do nothing while we're able to pick up the blitz. So when you could combine this with a little bit of a motion snap, now it gives you time to be able to hit your big hitter route, which is this post over the middle of the field that I literally, I mean, it can go for touchdowns after touchdowns after touchdowns. They have to use her that route, okay? Now, everything else that we're going to talk about in this play is going to help make this route even, even better. Now, let's say, for example, that your opponent does have um, like a cover one robber type of covered shell. So let's say they do something in the neighborhood of this right here. And they're gonna play a little bit more coverage defense and they're gonna have a deep blue defender. So if you watch how the deep blue defender in interacts with this post route, you're gonna see, you can still kind of throw this in this little window right here. This makes this post route a very valuable route in trips tight end because as of right now, we don't have tight end apprentice and mutt. And so because this tight end post route is so valuable because it can also um, burn the top off of a cover two shell. So one of the other things that is becoming very popular in Madden, and this is something that I've taught as well on my Patreon page, is this idea of essentially a cover cover three man under, where you have these guys in outside thirds. Now, I just have them in deep halves, but I want you to watch how this route combo is going to interact. And you're going to see right here that the deep half is not going to really guard him. Um, like he's not going to take it away, right? Um, especially if he's in an outside third, because if he's an outside third, he's going to have to go guard the running back. Now, you see how this can create a significant amount of conflict for your opponent if they're wanting to play you in man-to-man -man coverage. They're not going to be able to do that when you have this really nice tight end post. Now, the other thing we got with this is the running back quick, okay? You can oftentimes hit this running back up and over the top if they don't have safety help over the top of that defender. So the running back wheel is now incorporated into the man-beating principles of this play, which makes it, I think, one of the most consistent ways to attack main coverage right now in Madden. The other thing that I want to show you with this is how you can utilize um, this corner route and really just simply like a basic check down drag with combined with a streak here and then a motion. This is a very good setup because you have this little check down drag or slant. You have that clear out streak. I got to freeform that. If you freeform that, that, that safety won't get there. The classic passing this year is, is actually worse than last year, um, unfortunately. So it is what it is. But again, you could utilize these check down slants, check down drags. So I could run a concept like this. And now what you'll see is this slant will cook man over there. And then now this post has a chance to be able to beat man um, over the middle of the field. Now you ideally want to cut, throw the ball like on the cut of the player. But let's talk about zone for just a minute because I do think it's important. So let's say they do go to zone coverage or some type of zone. This, uh, this idea here that we've got with the basic concept of utilizing these other routes. Um, actually, my controller just froze, so let me come out and come back in. 
Real quick, guys, if you're not in the Patreon, I do recommend that you check it out. That's where you get all my ebooks. We've got over 12 offensive and defensive ebooks in the Patreon. We dropped uh, two brand new ebooks last night, and we're dropping two more later today. So if you're not in the Patreon yet, make sure you join. It's only 10 bucks, and I guarantee it'll make you a better Madden player. All right, guys, so now what we're going to do here is we have this basic idea, and you can even run it like this. Um, but what you'll see is watch this post. Watch how it engages with the deep blues. Any sh what I have found in Madden 24, especially in zone, this is what makes zone like this is almost why you kind of have to play man right now because the way zone plays in this game is they drop back more than I've ever seen. They are they're they're basically determined that they're going to take away the streak. The problem is the problem is you might not call a streak, right? So if you put any streak on the field, every zone in the game is going back. Um, and I'll show you cover three. Cover three, honestly, probably has the best chance. Cover four is not good, um, at least right now, in terms of being able to stop this, this uh, concept. And you'll see right here, here's cover three. You put that clear out streak, and they just can't, they can't get to it. Um, so they have to go, they have to take the user, and they have to go upfield and take this away. The problem with them having to do that, and I'll show you one other thing here real quick from a cover four perspective. The problem with them having to do that is now the hole underneath is open. But you see here, cover four is not going to do it. Even if I bring the safeties down, it's not stopping this. So what they have to do is they have to be in cover three, but the user has to go upfield with the tight end. So now this is where the check down game becomes really, really powerful in this play where we do something basic like this, and then you'll see here that these little check downs are going to be pretty open for you over the middle. So the little, just the little short check downs. Another thing you can do with this, again, I want to really emphasize it, you can create a ba very basic slant pose concept with your tight end just like this right here. And it create what this does is this little motion, you'll be able to pick up pressure with the motion, Right, but now you have slant post, so this crosser can get underneath a third because why we put a streak on the field, right? So the third has to drift back, and you're able to hit this check down underneath. So these are some ways that you can really make this play work for you. I think this is one of the best ways uh, to beat man to man right now in the game because if they play cover zero, let's say they play that cover zero. Right, and we and we just run. I mean, we just run something like this. Honestly, if you watch how this play works, you just free form inside. You've got a potential one play touchdown against any kind of cover zero coverage. It's a really good route in this game. It's much better than it was last year. Check out the play Y post out of Trips Tight End. If you want to get the rest of the ebook, join the Patreon today for just ten bucks. The link is going to be down in the description. That's where you'll get all of the ebooks as well as all of the updates will drop to the ebooks as long as your membership is active.